I recently started as a level 1 in GTA Online, but we're only allowed to make money by spinning a wheel to determine what I have to do. Let's see what the wheel has in store for us for this episode. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So welcome back to episode 8 of season number 3 of Loser to Luxury. And currently right now, we are trying to buy the Canis Terminus, coming in at $1,877,000. But I want to try to get a little more than that so we can fully upgrade this thing, or at least as much as I can. I think my goal is to make 2.4 million for this Canis Terminus. And currently right now, we're sitting on $1,543,000. So we have a very legitimate shot to actually go ahead and purchase this vehicle today in this episode. So currently right now, I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And so it looks like we're going to have to go over to Junk Energy Time Trial and do that for today. So currently right now, I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? So it looks like we're gonna be free to do whatever, but it's gonna be determined by how many kills with something. All right, so I have a wheel pulled up called the wheel of free to do whatever. And this is gonna determine how we're gonna have to get kills so we can see how long we have to do whatever we want in GTA Online. And currently right now, there's only two options, but as we progress through this season and we get some more items that could potentially get kills a lot easier than the options that I have on the wheel currently, we'll add it to this wheel. But anyways, let's spin the wheel and let's see how we're gonna have to get kills. Are we gonna have to get it melee style? Yes, we are. We're gonna get melee kills only. And we are only allowed 10 minutes to get as many kills with the melee weapon as possible. So we're free to do whatever, but it's going to be determined by melee kills. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. So I have the wheel of Cluck and Bell up, and there's two different options on here. This is going to be the approach we're going to take for the finale. It's either going to be silent and sneaky or aggressive. So let's spin the wheel and let's see what approach we're gonna have to do and we are gonna get the silent and sneaky approach for this time around and I'm also going to introduce a new wheel for the cluck and bell farm raid and this is going to be how we're going to set up the cluck and bell farm raid and it's, this is the wheel of ABC and for two of the setups we have to go and steal some stuff from either locations a B or C so we're gonna spin the wheel and whatever it lands on for those two missions, we're gonna have to go to that location. So what location are we gonna get our weapons and the vehicle from? And it looks like we are gonna go to location C. I have never gone to location C before, so this is gonna be interesting. All right, so we have a Cluck and Bell farm raid that we have to get into, and then we're free to do whatever, but it's gonna be determined by melee kills in the span of 10 minutes. But first, I'm gonna head over and do the junk energy time trial. Dude, what is up with me in like finding people robbing? I think that's the exact same spot as last episode too. Yeah, literally. It's the same exact spot where there's a robbery happening. Oh, you kind of juked me out. I did not think you're gonna cross the street. Wait, well, yeah, as we found out uh, last video every time you run over this guy like he, he doesn't fall over like a normal person if that makes any sense it's a weird animation for him falling over <laughs> no, no 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 get up it's fine it's fine it's fine ready set all right so there we go the money was finally deposited made twenty five thousand dollars i get the cops on us uh but i've already made it over to my junk energy time trial so yeah i'm just gonna ignore the cops that are on me and do a junk energy time trial and oh that automatically loses me the cops wow i'm a genius i'm such a genius yeah anyways yeah we gotta do this time trial now which this one's probably one of the more challenging junk energy time trials but at this point our stamina should be at the point where we shouldn't have to worry about managing our stamina i think i don't know i'm not gonna mess around with trying to replenish some of my stamina during this hopefully it goes well here we're getting close and there we go not too bad not too bad we made fifty one thousand dollars off of that so essentially for robbing that store or killing the robber from that store and doing that time trial we made seventy six thousand dollars pretty quickly so now we're sitting on one million six hundred and nineteen thousand dollars but we need to head back into the city and start up a cluck and bell farm raid all right so i've made it over to the police station we can go ahead and start up a cluck and bell farm raid but actually before we get into this cluck and bell farm raid since we can do this very early on in loser to luxury i actually think maybe towards the end of this season of loser to luxury we might actually be able to complete 
the career progress, all for the Cluck and Bell Farm raid. Oh, geez, I didn't realize I've already completed two, technically. I'll just reclaim my rewards. Yeah, I'll get a, my Cluck and Bell Farm T, and uh, I'll get a nice livery for a car I don't have yet. I, I really think this tier should be done today, I, I think. And then there's this one right here that we have left. So essentially for this, we need to complete the raid pretty much 10 times. It says earn $5 million, but you get paid out $500,000 every time you do it. So five times 10 equals 5 million. So we need to do 10 click and build form raids, which we, we might be able to do during the season. Probably be doing a lot to start out just because uh, we don't have a lot of other options on the wheel yet. Anyways, and then the bottom one says complete the scene of crime using all available setup equipment which yeah we, we've used we've used three we've used pretty much all of it from location a but now we're gonna go to location c which i'll be three more long story short we should be able to complete that but the one in the middle right there it says complete the cluck and bell farm raid in less than 45 minutes as a leader i want to try to get this done today i mean we have ourselves a body 801 i'll i'll use that to you know quickly go across the map we have an awesome Ocelot Virtue, but I just feel like I'm going to crash too much in the Ocelot Virtue. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to try to go for under 45 minutes as a leader. I also kind of want to do this because if you remember Hyper Ninja, he's been complaining to me how he can't complete this in under 45 minutes. I haven't really had like a real attempt at it, to be honest. Like, I think I've only done the Cluckabell Farm Raid, I think, three times. <laughs> And they were all the first time on a separate account. So anyways, I might want to go after that. But I don't know, going for location C, that might be that might be a little interesting. I don't know. Well, yeah, let's start it up. I'll keep track of the time. Essentially, once the text in the bottom of the screen comes up, says mission, uh, I don't know, says slush fun, like let's just say. Once that like comes up, the clock starts. But then once you get the green screen that says mission pass, that's when the clock stops. So it's not a continuous clock, essentially. In between the raid, I can just, I can just chill out essentially but anyways i'm gonna keep track of this see if i can actually complete it so yeah let's go ahead and try to do slush fund all right there we go the clock has started and okay i did not even realize i spawned in here yeah i like i said i have not done this multiple times on a certain account i've done this three times but on three separate accounts essentially if you don't remember how this mission goes we have to go to a money laundering business or we have to go to two of them actually we have to go pretty much steal some cash out of a washing machine but yeah i'm gonna try to be very sweaty during in this i could have taken my ocelot virtue but uh i feel like driving the body to one i feel like i have to really really focus on how i drive essentially oh my god i went the wrong way yeah there goes a clock just tick 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 just for me being stupid i need to go this way come on Come on, Dr. Crush. Stop being a doctor moron. Okay, hit your shots, please. Thank you. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to walk in. What are they going to do? Shoot me? Kind of did, but not enough. Okay, I'm getting pissed at it. I'm already getting pissed at this gun. Double action revolver. I need better weapons. Oh, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, too, that we're alongside of buying the Canis Terminus. We'll actually be able to purchase the Pistol Point 5 zero because everything that we buy in this series we're also going to be buying a weapon alongside of it and unfortunately we landed on the pistol point five zero so we're forced to buy that okay there you go cash has been stolen and i'm gonna walk out oh i need it i need to eat some snacks like immediately snacks well, this is awkward. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I thought I had to go actually go back and steal the cash. Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> we're good, but we're not good, if that makes any sense. Like, we're good. We don't have to, like, steal any more cash, but we're not good because I have to go... I have to go and walk and get my bike back. Okay, so maybe we actually try to take out some more people next time around. Yeah, if we don't complete this challenge in under 45 minutes, then, I mean, we'll have plenty more opportunities later on in this series. So it's not like the biggest deal in the world, but I mean, yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever completed a career progress challenge. And I haven't, I haven't attempted to either, but still. I haven't, and I feel like we should change that this season. At least attempt to. It's perfect time to reload. Okay, you need to, you need to get away. You need to get away. Okay, we're. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's enough people taken out. Oh, I need to get snacks too. I'm running low on snacks. How many times do we need to reload with this gun? Oh my god, I'm getting pissed. All these pistols I have. All right, there you go. All the cash has been grabbed. Let's get out of here. Okay, probably eat some snacks immediately. All right, nice. Now it says deliver the cash to Vincent's lockup. But on the mini map, there's still like a there's just a green money bag. I assume that's from um from when we died earlier. But um but at the same time, like why wasn't it up earlier? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I you know what? I I should probably go back. I should probably go back and get it. So yeah, already right, we're probably so far 
far off pace. <laughs> All because of that one death. All right, we're back. Nice to see everyone again. Of course, we have to reload again. I can't hit a shot. I love a pistol. Okay, there we go. We've collected some more cash. Get back on my bike. Uh, I want to get out of here. Get on the get on the bike. That that's that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, cool. All right, we've made it back finally. Um, hold on. The clock's still technically running. Still technically running. I mean, the, the clock is not looking great. I'll just be honest. Okay, there we go. Clock stop. Wow, that was right at eight minutes. That was disgusting. That was, <laughs> that was so bad. That was so bad. I gave this whole spiel about how I wanted to complete this in under 45 minutes total, but goodness, eight minutes to start? It's terrible. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the mission, breaking and entering. The clock has resumed. Um, Yeah, like I said earlier, not looking good. I have acquired some snacks, so that's nice. So essentially, we need to go to a laptop and the terabyte. I don't know why it says or. Kind of stupid. I will have to say, I feel like I'm making up a lot of ground with my driving right now. I feel like I've done pretty well. You know, that could change. All right, so anyways, we've made it over to the Del Perro Pier strategy that I've been using. It's just kind of shooting around. Hopefully, the guy will pop up on the map. I'm literally shooting everywhere. Where is this guy? Well, this is awkward. Yeah, there's literally no one here. The career progress challenge is not looking good. Okay, the guy didn't have a little red dot on his map this time around, but I just accidentally, I didn't even see that. I accidentally drove right past it, and it appeared on my map. Okay, so now we need to look for a terabyte. I'm pretty sure it's to our right somewhere in here. Yeah, I'm right. I'm smart. Cool. Uh, can I just throw sticky bombs at it? That'd be great. Hey, where's the frick? Oh, there you are. Holy, what the? That looked like four. One just try to kamikaze me. Okay, we're good. All right, last time a lot of people said there was like a free weapon in here. Oh, this free weapon. Okay, this is an assault SMG. <laughs> okay, that'll help. That'll help. Thank y'all for yelling at me. Appreciate that. So now we need to go steal a train. No, no. Why are we flying in the air? I should have taken the train tracks right there too. That was stupid. I missed the train tracks. I was so focused on our wrecking. All right, anyways, I'm here. I missed the train again. What am I, what am I doing? I'm being Dr. Choke right now. My goodness. Quicker the bit. There's keys. I found some keys. Good. And then once we get in the train, it's not too hard. Well, it's not hard at all, actually. You screw up the train part you're a moron. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. Let's escape. What am I looking like on time? Uh, it's taken me roughly seven minutes for this mission so far. We're sitting just over 15 minutes. Okay. I don't think our pacing is looking very good. <laughs> All right, so we escaped, everyone. We're in the tunnel. The clock's going to stop right now. Okay. So we're currently at 17 minutes, 20 seconds. <laughs> Ooh, that's already over a third of our time off of those two missions. Mm, 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 mm. I, it's not looking good, in my opinion. Not looking good. All right, here we go we're doing the mission concealed weapons i've resumed the timer this one's gonna be a little interesting because i have never been to location c where i don't even know okay you're all the way up there that ugh. i don't know location b i know is out on a yacht and location c well is that sandy shores airfield so um i don't know i don't know which one you would think is a little harder to do but location a is definitely the easiest yeah, I for this mission, I have never gotten anything other than A. I've always gotten A out of the three times I've done it. So this part's going to be a little interesting. And, and this is the part that I was talking to you about earlier when we were spinning the wheel. And on the wheel, we landed on C. So we got to go to the C locations. Okay, I will have to say my driving, I really feel is on point, which is very rare. Okay, I don't know what to do here, though. <laughs> I got to get a weapon and gear. Um, Y'all are just going to have to not kill me. And I'll, I'll, I'll do... I'll kill you though. How about that? Is that a fair deal? I think so. All right, where where are you? There's a guy. And there's a death. That's cool. That's great. Yeah. This might be like one of, if not the hardest one to go for. Thank you, Wheel. I really appreciate it. Okay, can I get in here? Cool. All right, where's the gear thingy? Oh, that, okay, that was the equipment. Now I gotta get the gear. I gotta get a bag of gear. So the bag of gear is over here. That rhymed. Oh, okay, that wasn't terrible. That wasn't terrible. So now all we have to do is just go back to Vincent's lockup. Okay, that, that wasn't horrible. I'll, I'll have to say. If I would have had better weapons, I maybe could have done that a little quicker, but still. Oh my God, there's my first blunder driving and it's because I didn't see a rock. No, 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 that, that, no, no, no. No, no, uh-uh, that, that's written apology worthy. No, uh, that's embarrassing. Confirm. Okay, 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 okay. All right, there we go. 
clock has stopped. Wow, pretty much right at 23 minutes. So what did that take? Five minutes? It took five minutes, I think. That's crazy that it took five minutes after us wrecking twice, won my fault, won the game's fault, and then me dying. That wasn't bad. I, I will say that wasn't really bad at all. Still not looking great for us, but all right, here we go. We're jumping into the next mission, Hit and Run. This one's going to be very similar to the last one where we have to go to either location A, B, or C. So once again, we're going to go to location C. That's on me. That one's on me. Here it goes. Yeah, I was, I really felt like I was on point, but ever since leaving from, from the Sandy Shores area, uh, the driving has gone bad, as you can see. Ran into a bush right there. Yeah, I don't, I've never done this mission before or going to location C for this mission before, but I have seen it and this one's going to be a little interesting with our weapon loadout, I will have to say. I mean, luckily we have a homing launcher. Hopefully that'll take care of everything, but still, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, I made it to location C. Now, there it is. Okay, there's a thing in the sky right there. All right, so you got this cargo bob. Okay, come on, cargo bob. You can die. It's all right. Don't worry about it. There you go. All right, the getaway vehicle is falling out the sky. We're gonna have to drive that thing back. Why? Well, I... I was it two episodes ago i saw the squatty so much we have to go all the way to Plita bay too and we have to go all the way to Plita bay in a slow vehicle with this location you have to ride the road which means people are going to be coming after you so that's great technically technically not like a road violation or breaking the law on their part but just still pisses me off for sure no, no, no. That Okay, that one's dumb. Okay, the thing is, I know why that car is doing that because, I don't know, the, when the NPCs, like, hear gunshots or gunshots are pretty close to them, they get pretty weird. They they drive very carelessly. I have to repair the vehicle? No. Well, my, well, it did kind of fall out the sky. If it, if it is from falling out the sky, then okay. Annoying, but okay. If it's from the people wrecking into me, that's not my fault. Okay, there we go. We just confirmed the vehicle. Now we need to leave the garage and leave the area. All right, there we go. Mission passed. We're sitting at just under 31 minutes. So it's <laughs> for the last two missions, including the finale, we're going to have to do it in 14 minutes <laughs> i don't know if it's dr crush possible at least at, at this state all right here we go we are doing the mission disorganized crime now essentially what i'm going to do specifically for this mission is i'm swinging for the fences so like there's a method to this where you can actually go ahead and head over to the um actual locations itself because we have to go to like a hideout location so we can go to these hideout locations now and then and enter them right now essentially instead of having to go and hack the target you know get your little outfit on and you know now now and as of right now i don't think it's patched so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to take advantage of it and i almost missed it kind of did low key so first one's right here it won't let me in it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine we have two more options all right so let's head over to the next option so the next option let me in all right fine 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 you don't want me to go there fine Fine, fine, fine. I'll head over to my last location. Hmm. All right, game. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be someone. And it says, "Oh, it still works. You gotta do A, B, and C." Well, well, it didn't work the way that it once did. So that's great. And I wasted uh, two minutes. I wasted two minutes on that. That's great. Thanks. All right. So I gotta go hack a freaking van, even though I wasn't expecting to. There we go. One van hacked. All right, there we go. The other van has been hacked. Where do I gotta go now? All right, you can confirm I was here. I was, I ran right up here. I, I did. Okay, let me pull out my normal pistol because this is my only suppressed weapon. Uh, I've taken out enough people right now. We have to sabotage all the trucks. We're doing this silent and sneaky, so I have to set this mission up for the silent and sneaky approach. This mission is very important for that. So we have to pull wires from all these trucks, essentially, so we can sabotage it. Take out that guy. Take out that guy. Take out that guy. Cool. So then we need to go in. And then this is also important too. We need to take out the CCTV. If you don't do this, then it'll be on aggressive. There's a drill right here. Oh, I didn't know there's a drill right there. I never get the drill from that specific location, but okay, cool. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get one locker in, see if I can, you know. Okay, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. I didn't do anything. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, we actually got it. We got it. Okay, stop, 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 stop. All right, cool. We can leave. We can leave. We're good. All right, so this time around, we can actually steal the flatbed truck. So all we have to do is just go back to Vincent's lockup. And there we go. We've made it back to Vincent's lockup. 
And there we go, mission passed. Oh, <laughs> we're now sitting at 40 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, we have to do the final mission in five. Yeah, that ain't happening. That's just not gonna happen. All right, and here we go. We are jumping into the finale scene of the crime. Right now, we are doing this stealthy. We are inside that box right there that the forklift is picking up. All right, so I'm keeping the I'm keeping the timer going, but do I not have? A, oh, okay. The combat shotgun is the suppressed weapon. Okay, take out that guy and that guy and that guy for fun and let's start grabbing the cola all right there we go that's all the cola from down here we still have more cola we have to go get okay we need to grab a crowbar because with this outfit we don't get a crowbar the outfit i usually take we get a crowbar oh there it is okay i didn't i didn't see that all right there we go we sold all the cola so we need to get out of here and let's continue moving forward we have to go to an office all right so we need to find the key codes oh come on i just ran right past that computer you didn't give me it come on it was just all over and you didn't give it to me come on game go get the cat oh wait i don't know what it was. 70 27 39 70 27 39 okay there we go so now let's leave the cluck and bell factory no no you didn't see anything oh okay everyone knows where i'm at now that's great no i screwed that up try to go quick it's not what i wanted to do but it's all right it's all right we're okay we're good we're good we're good so we have to get in our beautiful squatty right here so we can you know escape the cops and this monstrosity but that's gonna be a lie because um we're gonna be stopping at some point so we can get ourselves our personal vehicle and we're just gonna head back to the city with our personal vehicle on the train tracks and now then oh my god my neck my next request is for a minute 20 oh no oh no dude that's not good uh oh uh oh uh oh oh no oh no <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for getting me this far, I guess. Yeah, th this isn't going well. Uh, let's just say we're not getting the career progress. <laughs> I mean, I'm already looking at the time. I'll give you the final time, but uh, yeah, this isn't going well. All right, there we go. We can stop the timer now. Wow, that took us in total 50 four minutes to complete oh my god oh that was so bad yeah there's obviously some stuff that i can clean up for sure but yeah i, I think we can we can get it later on like you know if we once we get better weapons and whatnot and then things just go better yeah we, we can definitely complete it but not this episode and there we go mission passed we still make five hundred thousand dollars off of that which is still very very nice so after that cluck and bell farm raid we're now sitting on two million one hundred and seven thousand dollars but we still have to go ahead and actually do whatever we want but it's going to be determined by melee kills in 10 minutes now let's head over to a public session so i'm currently in a public session you can see right here there's 26 people in this session and we're trying to get as many melee kills as possible in 10 minutes and this will determine how much much time we get to do whatever we want so how this will work is we'll just start out with 20 minutes to do whatever we want and then every single kill that we get in 10 minutes will be an additional 10 minutes added on to that 20 minutes so like let's just say we only get one kill then we have 30 minutes to do whatever we want in gta online let's just say we get six kills then we'll have 80 minutes to do whatever in gta online but anyways we need to get melee kills and the best way to get melee kills is to use a stone hatchet we're using the stone hatchet because we get to use an ability apparently there's no one around so i can demonstrate it so i'm not going to demonstrate it but anyways goal is just do this number and you'll get easy kills but anyways the clock is going to start right now all right clock is running i didn't who should i go after bro i just need someone on the ground so i can just absolutely destroy maybe these people you know what screw it see this is like half the battle when you get something like this because we have to try to at least find someone to even engage with but that's problem a lot of people are in vehicles oh yeah another rule that i have is that is that i'm not allowed to kill anyone that's afk so just keep that in mind too dude i just got over here and you just decided to get into a vehicle i don't know what you're doing i don't know what you're doing i don't know what you're doing oh oh you actually did get out <laughs> okay well, there's one kill well that's a kill Okay, well, I have two kills, but I just got killed by an oppressor. Oh, yeah, by the way, after we complete this, too, I'm going to be staying in this session and doing whatever I want. Oh, wait, no, hold on. This guy, oh, this guy knows me. He says Dr. Crush. Yeah, okay, well, um, I'm not going to go after you. 
I was about to say, if you would have given me like one more second, I was about to explain how I wasn't going to go after you now. I wasn't here. <laughs> she not listen, <laughs> dude. Oh, what are you doing? I, dude, this guy's like trying to steal NPC cars of all things. Okay, okay, you know, yeah, just get it. Oh, you did. Why are you pulling out a shotgun? No. <laughs> okay, let's kill number five. Oh, he's driving away. Oh, stop the car. No, 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 no. Don't shoot me. <laughs> you can't drive. Bro, bro, just get out. Just get out. Just get out. If you can get out, that'd be great. That'd be so great if you were just to get out. Oh, he's out. Okay, ready? Oh, I got the kill. I got the kill. Okay. Okay, time just expired, too. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow, that was a buzzer beater. Anyway, so we got a total of six kills there. I mean, I guess, I guess it's cool that you, you flattened me. I guess it's pretty cool. So since we got six kills, that means we get an added 60 minutes to the original 20. So in total, we have 80 minutes to do whatever we want in GTA Online. We're just not allowed to do anything in GTA Online. There's some limitations. I'm not allowing myself to do the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid or the Kaya Perico Heist, because those are probably the two things that I could realistically do in that amount of time. Oh, cool. I have mercenaries that are going to come attack me. I mean, it's cool, I guess. When we get businesses, we're not allowed to sell businesses. So, like, let's just say I have a bunker. I'm not allowed to sell off that bunker in this 80 minutes. Let Crush cook. Let Crush cook. I'm telling you. You have just staying your night shark. Oh, yeah. What's my last limitation? Oh, yeah. I'm not allowed to pick up any wall safes. I'm not allowed to do that. And the reason for me not to go ahead and collect wall safes is because I haven't accumulated products or I've accumulated like value inside of either my business or my wall safes like in that 80 minutes so i'm i'm excluding that from the 80 minutes so yeah i'm gonna come back tomorrow and i'll do the 80 minutes so i'll see you when we're ready to get into that all right so i have 80 minutes on the clock and as soon as i get started with what i'm about to do we're gonna start the clock and what we're gonna start out with in this 80 minutes is we're gonna start out with doing tow truck missions so we're able to do two tow truck missions i'm gonna do both of them pretty much at the start so as soon as we can get started with it i'm gonna start the timer i'll have to get in the tow truck i've never done one of these before on this account all right so we're gonna start the clock right now all right clock is running let's go all right so we have to go and pretty much recover some vehicles that need to be towed and bring them back so they can be salvaged for parts and the reason i want to start out with this at the beginning of the timer is because it's going to take a little bit for the money to actually hit our pocket now we'll say in the future like let's just say we do a tow truck mission and the car is just sitting in our salvage yard but the timer expires i will count it for when the money does eventually come in at whatever point but for this episode we already have enough money to get the canis terminus so i just want to get all the money i can now so i might not do that okay by the way we are also in a public session it's a new day so it's a new public session so i haven't pissed anyone off yet and i mean the plan is not to piss anyone off but hey you never know you never know all right where the heck is this banshee oh there's the banshee um i've not done a lot of tow truck missions so i am not incredibly used to driving this thing around but all right let's take it back to the salvage yard all right and there we go we have delivered the banshee back to the salvage yard all right there we go um so yeah as you can see in the bottom left, this Banshee's being salvaged for parts, which is good. Um, but I'm getting back into the tow truck, and we're going to get another vehicle. All right, here's the vehicle we have to pick up. It's a Rusty Rebel. And luckily, it wasn't too far away. It was like 1.3 miles away. Not too bad. So let's take it back to the salvage yard. All right, and there we go. The Rusty Rebel is back to our salvage yard. All right, and there we go. So now it's time for us to get into other things. All right, you know what? I'm going to call up Dax. I'm going to try to do a full against job. What are we doing? Heavy metal? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Maybe not the best location for this, but not bad. We got the location in Stab City, which is the furthest location. But it's not horrible. It's really not. Uh, Really, I like to go around all the enemies because we need to go to this back trailer right here in this circle. Okay, you need to stop shooting me. Okay, the boss is going to be in here and we just need to take him out like so. And then we're going to take a photo of him like that. And then we need to steal this truck right here. But Dax will not let me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now we need to steal this truck. And we need to take it to a location. Okay, there we go. We have made it over to the area. So let's just get out of here. All right, and there we go. Mission pass. We made $50,000. Got an email for the LS Tours board. It's going to be different from yesterday. You're going to pour... Oh. <laughs> I have to get a pug? No. Oh, gosh. I, I might as well start doing this now. I, I need to take care of this now. I, we have to try to find a pug. The problem is dogs just in general are so hard 
to spawn in. Okay, well, maybe not necessarily hard to spawn in, but getting the right type to spawn in is very tough. This is where I usually find, like, some pugs or whatnot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay attention, see if there's any pugs walking around. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's not a pug. No, you're not a pug. Okay, well, okay, that's a promising sign, though. Dogs are spawning in. Good. Yeah, there's a pug that always, like, looks into this store right here. This clothing store. Right there. There we go. That was huge. I am so happy I got that that quickly. What other animals do I need to get? I need to get a hen, which I know where there's one at, but it's annoying. And then I gotta find a boar. The boar is what's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna quickly look up where to find a boar. Uh, I found the location though, but it's on the way to a stash house. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the stash house. Then we're gonna go over and then we're gonna try to find the boar at this specific location. All right, so we've made it to the stash house. So let's go. All right, so we got to take out the dealers as you know i like to throw a grenade off that wall that takes out at least three that time got four nice there's usually five dealers down here so bang just one shot done okay there we go we got the safe contents let's get out of here and there we go we just completed that i got thirty thousand dollars for it but now we have to go ahead and try to find where this boar is and apparently from what i'm looking at boars should spawn in somewhere right around here i gotta keep my eyes peeled though no don't run don't run don't run you're running you bad boar bad bam no why did i take the photo thank you okay i almost almost missed the photo there we go another animal photograph if you don't know every animal photographed is twenty thousand dollars and then if we get all three we get a completion bonus of forty thousand dollars so in total we can make a hundred k i'm gonna head to my go-to spot to photograph a hen which is all the way in Polito bay i know there's a location in sandy shores apparently but it just never works for me i don't know why i always like to go to Polito bay and get the one here okay so we've made it up up to Polito Bay. We need to head over here and we need to go. It's over here. It's this house right here. Or not this house. It's the next one. Next one. Next one. And there should be some hens just strolling around. Yeah, up there they are. Beautiful. Good. And there we go. We got a photograph of a nice hen. And boom. 60K in my bank account. In total for 100 k of profit. Not too bad at all. It went better than what I expected. When I saw Pug, I was a little worried, but luckily we got it done. All right, so I've made it over to the Junk Energy Time Trial. It's a new day since earlier in the episode, so I can go ahead and do a Junk Energy Time Trial once again. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, I think this is one I should complete first attempt. Should. I mean, all of them should be first attempt, but especially this one. What? What? No. No, that has never happened to me on this time trial before. This specific time trial. No. It's terrible. It just ruined all my momentum. Dog, you got to get out the way. Oh my gosh. Sorry, dog. I don't think we're going to complete it. Yeah, we're not. We, we barely missed it too. Oh my. Come on, game. That's never happened to me before. I don't know why. All right, let's try this again. Oh, wow. Wow, it works that time. Wow, how consistent of a game. Oh, nice. My stamina is up to an 80. Anyways, I just completed it and ran over a lady right at the end. There we go. An easy 50K right there. Not too bad. All right, so we've made it to the Diamond Casino. We're going to spin the lucky wheel real quick. Well, we have so much time. I'm running out of things to do. I'm going to be honest. We have like 40 minutes to go. We haven't really even hit halfway yet. Anyways, let's just spin the wheel, hopefully. Um, give me some good. I've gotten clothing, I think, back to back times. Uh, you can sit right there. Okay, I'm cool with that. 20K. Good. Thank you. I'll give my visitors bonus for today. I'll trade in my chips. We got just a few more dollars. All right. I think all I can really do now is do G's cash. I think I've done everything that I possibly can do at least at the moment all right so we've made it over to g's cash location uh let me let me see if i can find this real quick oh here it is it's over here excuse me anyways there we go got g's cash made fifteen thousand dollars off of it um yeah i really think that's all i can do i'm pretty sure let me mm, i'm gonna have to really think about it i think that's all i can do right now i mean i could do another full job at some point but we still have some time left um okay so i've done some thinking i think i'm just gonna go ahead and try to do the boost of money job which it's still going to be the races known known unknowns and unknown unknowns so i'm gonna try to join some of those so early in the season for us i mean we don't have a ton of options to make money so and, th and that's really coming through in this mission oh goodness all right we have no one here so let me see if anyone wants to join <laughs> all right here we go i found it i found a race to do um people actually joined in what a good start 
Oh yeah, Hyper Ninja just messaged me, and it's because he is in this race. Where, where is he? Where is? I don't know which one he is, but uh, oh, he's right next to me. I kind of want to wreck him, but I'm in a very good car. I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> I'm in an F1 car. This is great. But people have already passed me. Okay. Ooh, Vigera ZX. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh my god, you can float. You can actually float in the Deluxo in these races. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't think you could float. I just tapped the A button. You can't. All right. Oh my god, I'm back in the patrol car. Yeah, this. Wow, 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 wow. I need a handwritten apology. For the I raced so well. There's nothing I could have done better. I I was flawless. Yeah, that, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. That yeah, I'm not a fan of the unknown unknowns. Yeah, yeah. I said, oh, you have no idea. He doesn't. He doesn't. He has no idea what I got. That <laughs> I still made 8,000, though. But, jeez, if I would have gotten first place, could have gotten close to 30. It was fine. Whatever. We'll come back, and I'll, I'll win. Don't worry about it. All right, here we go. We're doing another unknown unknown, of course. <laughs> But everyone voted, aka the only person that voted, aside from me, was Hyper Ninja. So I was like, all right, fine. Do another unknown unknown. Where, where is he? Where is he? I can't see him. All right, he's in the gray car right there. Oh, oh, I'm in a helicopter. I was not expecting to be in a helicopter. Okay, okay. Wait, no way Hyper Ninja is going to pass being a ramp car, dude. This is like the worst plane. Okay, but somehow Hyper Ninja failed. Yeah, absolutely garbage. Why did the game force me to drive this thing? Makeup time, makeup time. All right, Torador, good. Let's go. What? No, no, no what, what else am I supposed to do there? I landed as normal as possible. No, I landed perfectly with that bike, and then they just forced me out. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get what happened there. I, I, all right, so, oh, of course, we're doing another unknown, unknown. I think the goal for me is to go ahead and try to do one more race, and then after that, I'll try to do a full against job. I think, I think I'll be able to do that. Uh, I don't know, Where, where's Hyper? I wanna, I wanna see where he's at. Of course, Hyper Ninja's on the bike. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. No, not a good vehicle, not a good vehicle. Nope, 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 nope. What, what is going on? What is, I wasn't even on all four wheels. The Vestra, no, he got a jet, yep, yep. You just you just handed him the win. I have a, I have a good play, but he had, he had a jet. That's just not good. <gasps> okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I take back everything I said. He has a tank, he has a tank, he has a tank. He has a tank. Did I get first? I think I did, I think I did, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, yeah, I got first. I got first by not much, not not much at all. But I get a whopping 15K for that. <laughs> all right, so we're back into the game. How much time do I have left? 13-ish minutes. Oh yeah, by the way, in the middle of those races, we actually got paid for the salvaging of those cars. I don't know how much it was though. I'm gonna be honest, how much we got paid. I know how much we're at, which will save that number for the end. But I mean, looking at the number, we've done a good job. We've done a very good job as far as making money because I think in six I think the first time we landed on this wheel spin we got 60 minutes I think we got like 250k. We're already above that. And I, it's not from the races. I can guarantee you that. All right, so we've made it inside. We have to take out a bunch of dealers. It's so annoying to do with a pistol. All right, there we go. Everyone's finally taken out. We can contaminate the water supply now. Okay, there we go. Irrigation systems turn on after we contaminate the water supply. Then up, yep, we're looking right at it. And nice, yep. All right, so now we have to survive the hallucinations. Uh, what I like to do is like to get on top of a building, but I don't use usually get this location but so much so i don't know where um i don't know where a ladder is okay here's a ladder all right all right come on man thank okay i was about to say this has been taking too long there we go Spawn me back in please all right there we go we got fifty thousand dollars off of that not too bad how much time do i have left i have four minutes there's really nothing else i can really do you know what yeah i'm just gonna stop the timer it's fine four minutes to spare I mean, we have so little things that we possibly could do so in that time and I don't even think this is including the 20K that we got from the casino, from spinning the lucky wheel. We made $398,000, which is huge. It's absolutely huge. So now we're sitting on $2,523,000. So we can actually go ahead and purchase the Canis Terminus. But first, I'm going to go ahead and go pick up my pistol that, I, uh, that the wheel is forcing me to get. So let me go get that. Okay, so we've made it over to ammunition. Let's head on over. All right, so where where is this pistol? I need to get yeah right here <laughs> the pistol the pistol 0 0.50 uh which is absolutely free that's fantastic and someone in the comments section did ask if i was gonna put like the best like 
upgrades on these weapons and I, I feel like I actually I should I feel like I should for sure let's turn a free weapon into a very useless expense for me so that's great anyways uh extended clip sure i'm not using this gun i don't think a flashlight cool yeah i'm scared of the dark i want to put the add-ons that can actually like you know make this weapon different but buy everything aside from like paint scheme with it oh yeah here's my new pistol ha 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 slow Thing's so slow, dude. But since we got that out of the way, now we can actually go ahead and purchase the Canis Terminus. Now, one little caveat, I have nowhere to put this Canis Terminus, and I'm not gonna get rid of the Body 801 or the Ocelot Virtue. I'm not getting rid of those vehicles, so I'm actually gonna go ahead, I'm gonna purchase the cheapest, like, garage, I think. And if I keep running into this problem, I'll just keep buying, like, two-car garages. But at some point, I'm gonna buy some businesses. Whenever the wheel wants me to, I'll buy businesses that can that actually have garages built inside of it. I don't know, like the example, uh, like the arcade for an example. Arcade, you can put a 10 car garage in it. The agency, I think it's 10 car garage. Auto shop, 10 car garage. So uh, yeah, we, once we get one of those businesses, then we'll be set. But right now we, we don't have the luxury. So I gotta go ahead and get this. So now I own property all the way <laughs> in Polito Bay. So now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. I'm gonna go to the Canis Terminus, make this thing black. And yeah, let's put it in there and there we go. There goes $1,877,000 out of my bank account. We're still sitting on just under $600,000 to hopefully upgrade this as much as possible. And here's my Canis Terminus. Now thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have made it um, a black color to start out with because this garage is incredibly dark. But this is my, this is my new vehicle. This is my new vehicle. This will be my go-to vehicle. I'm going to drive this over the Ocelot Virtue and the Body 801. All right, so I've made it over to Amy Nation or Beaker's Garage and Parts here in Bolito Bay. I'm going to make this simple. I'm going to make this simple. We're going to make this car. We're going to make this car red. We're going to make this car red for today. Yeah, th this is really acting like a Jeep here. All right, fine, 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 fine. Engine, just a little better engine. Exhaust. Okay, no, I'm not putting any explosives on it. Just keep that in mind. That's not happening. Better transmission. I can't afford it, or I can't get a turbo. Okay, I don't. I don't want to change the. I don't want to change the wheels on it. A painted windshield armor. All right, sure. Fine. Okay, this is my vehicle. All right, this is what I'm gonna be driving around a lot throughout this series. Not completely maxed out, but for as little of a level as I am, this is as much as I can do. I know people really like this car, so I am kind of excited to drive it around. Seems like I can climb Mount Chiliad pretty well, we'll have to say. Well, I got myself a new vehicle, and next episode, we're gonna be going back to the Wheel of Businesses, and we're gonna be spinning the Wheel of Businesses to see what we're gonna have to purchase next. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of the loser to luxury series season number three make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me 1v5 a bounty hunt in gta online